All right, what is up, guys? It is Jax from GNBots.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the action editor. So, before we start, you're going to want to, up to this point, already have uh, Multi Mimu or Nox Player installed as well as the bot. You're going to go over to the overview and then you're going to click the accounts tab. There, it's going to show both accounts that I have set up, and then you can also alt open uh, Multi Mimu to make sure that. Uh, the farms that you have already put in and logged in are there. This is the very last step where we edit the actions and we click start. So if you haven't made it to this point yet, make sure you check out one of our earlier videos where we show what all these buttons do and how to, how to add accounts in the bot as well as your emulator. So what we're going to be focusing on specifically is this gear icon right here. This brings up the action editor. We're going to go ahead and open that and then the action editor is going to pop up. So right here we have all of the actions and I'm going to kind of go through each one uh, individually just to show the settings uh, and as far as what everything uh, up here has as well. There's a bunch of different things inside this so I just want to take the time to kind of go through what each one does. So that way we can go ahead and close out Mimeo. I'm just going to show you this right here specifically. This is how you connect your accounts. So let's say I wanted this to be Little Farm 1. I would put that there and when I go over to Mimu, it's going to run that account. If I change this to Alliance account, it's going to run this account. So this just reflects whatever you have inside of the emulator and that's how you can easily, easily swap uh, between accounts that you want it to run and you don't have to always change your actions. Uh, this works great if you're just trying to gather resources on one um, and you want to rotate that or whatever it is you want to do. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. You're able to assign the instance right here. So that's what that is. We'll go ahead and close out the emulator. So we're just focusing on the bot. Over here it has the game. So each instance can be assigned per game. So you can run multiple games if you want. If you have 100 accounts, you can run, you know, 100 different games or whatever it is that you want. All you got to do is just select it and then it's going to pop up the new action editor. So for uh, this sake, we'll go ahead and do Guns of Glory since I'm here already, but it's all the same. It really doesn't matter uh, which game you pick. And then also we have the gear icon that's located here. This is for your account specific settings. In Guns of Glory, all you have is the shuffle here. And again, if you look at uh, these and you pull up the tool tips, it'll kind of give you a little bit of a, an idea um, of what each one does. So as you can see, there are a list of uh, items here that you can select and as well as the tool tips. And then it has the options that you can select and deselect. So if I wanted to gather food, I could come up here and I could hit one, which would be plot level one, two, three, four, etc. I can also choose uh, specifically for wood. I can come to silver, do it however it is that you want it to run. I can have it run. Um, for marches, etc. So all of these are action specific settings. So if everyone that you go through, it's going to show different stuff that you can edit in here. So each one has its own specific things and that is uh, assigned by game. So some games have more than others. Uh, but in order to get it to run, so let's go back. I want the gather resources. I've set up what I want. You have to hit the enable. As soon as you hit the enable, it's going to go to the very top. So it doesn't disappear, it just heads to the top. So if I enable Shield City, it goes to the very top. If I disable Shield City, it stays there, but if I had another one enabled, as you can see, it drops out of there. So this is the order in which it's gonna go in. So let's just enable a few of these. If I clicked Start and I had all these settings done, what it would do, it, it would run Gather Resources as well as it can, um, according to the game and you know their specific uh, limitations that they have and then when it completed that it would move to the royal expedition it would complete that it would move to the alliance fourth so on and so forth all the way until it got to the bottom once it hits the bottom it's going to close this account and then it's going to pull up my next account which would be mafia city 2. it would then perform all the actions that i have in there so if it was a different game or, uh, you know, this one would be Mafia City, it's now going to pull up the Mafia City account and it's going to run everything that I have in there. So if you have five games, you can put those in there. If you only have one, let's say I just wanted this to be my next Guns of Glory account, I can make that there. Now it's going to run the different account, the second one that I have, and it's going to do whatever I put in here. 
So this way you can customize these accounts however it is that you want it. And let's say that I wanted to switch them. I could come up here and I could switch this now to the Alliance account and it would run this account instead. So this way you're able to literally customize however it is you want. You can create as many accounts as you want. It's completely unlimited um, and you're able to rotate through them. So that's the first one, rotate mode. That's what this does, one session or one account running at once will run through as many accounts as you have doing that rotation. And again, you can move these actions however it is that you want. You just click here, slide them up, and you can adjust these uh, to be in the order that you would like. So we have some other stuff such as the rules. There is a full guide on these, so I'm not going to really go over them because um, they kind of go in depth. Uh, so make sure you check out that guide if you want to set your um, specific rules as far as skipping stuff, waiting after, close instance, and then only run. Again, that is in our guide, and it's a long, um, detailed guide that I wouldn't want to get in here uh, right now because it would be quite confusing. So we have that, and then again, once again, you can adjust them. So that is your single account rotating. It does that automatically. One account um, or one account running at once will rotate through all of them. Now, if I wanted to change this to be two accounts running, I could go to the settings, general, and I can change number of accounts running at once to two. So now what's going to happen is if I've got that set up and I come over here to accounts, it is going to open both of these accounts at the same time. And then it's going to perform all the actions that I have set up at the same time. When that's done, it's going to close them. And then it's going to pull up, if I had four accounts, it's going to pull up these two. So it runs the number of accounts that you have at once in that rotation mode. So you can have one account that'll just rotate through all these, or you can have, um, you know, if you have five accounts, you could have two number of accounts running at once, and it's just going to rotate through all of them. So that's really it. It's not that complicated. Once you get into the settings, um, you know, as far as what the bot has available here, it's just your common in-game stuff. It's just going to perform whatever it is that it says. Um, but what most people get confused on is how it rotates, um, what the number of accounts running at once means. Um, and then the other thing is uh, how, let's say, that the game updates, right? So the biggest issue that we find is that people install the game from the Play Store. You can't do that. If you install the game from the Play Store, it is going to be a version different than what we have the bot running on because these games update weekly. There's no way we could keep up uh, with the graphics changes. So you have to make sure that you only install the bot or the game from our installer here. And as long as you do that, your game will stay on the right version and the bot will run correctly. If you are finding that these actions aren't running correctly, that's usually the reason why because you have a newer version of the game where they changed a graphic and because this is an image recognition bot it's not able to find that graphic and then you come into support you know saying that the bot is broke and we're saying well it works for us that's usually why is because it's a version mismatch so make sure you have um, the right version on there you don't update from the play store you don't install from the play store you only use uh, this right here and then lastly inside this action editor uh, you have the follow for update so what this is is if you pop that open it's going to go to a website this is our important updates area so you can come to the major bot updates and see uh, what overall changes have been made and you're more than welcome to follow that if you want but most importantly you want to go to your game so if we were playing mafia city we would open that up and then we would click the follow so what this is going to do is every time we release an update it's going to send you an email and that way if there's something you know we're fixing things or we're updating things uh, updating the APK, whatever it is, you are getting uh, notified that there has been a change. So this is another reason why um, sometimes people report that, you know, they're having issues. Well, it's, we released an update, you know, a week ago, and then you didn't get notified, so you're running an old version. Um, not of the bot, but, you know, of the game if we updated the APK or whatever it is. So just make sure you follow that so that way you are getting the updates. And then lastly, we have the report action inside here. 
you can open that up and what that is for is sending a bug report to the developers so it says please select a game let's say just for keeping everything the same mafia city the action that failed was attack street forces and then you would just type whatever it is that you wanted in here obviously the more helpful you can be in explaining the faster we'll be able to fix it uh, but this gives you direct communication from the developers so we have 28 different games it's hard for us to track all the issues especially when they do all these updates so if you report it here we get an instant notification and we can go in um, and try to solve that for you and then make sure you put your email because if we need more specific stuff on a lot of these games you have to be a certain level account and we might not have that so we we might have to grab a screenshot from you or a video if you put your email there that way we can follow up it's going to get your issue solved uh, faster and again we can track how many of these are getting um, you know sent so like I said usually it's because you're on the wrong game version but if we get a ton of them that are you know are saying that it's broken we check those out within 24 hours and we try to have it fixed immediately so that is it it's pretty simple inside this action editor again this is how you enable the bot uh, to you know whatever functions that you wanted to perform this is how you adjust them and then this is how you add the accounts again this is the very last step that you're going to do before you start uh, botting and you click that play or start button down here if you click this start button without these being set up you're going to get an error in the logs that says no actions found if you get that that's because you have an account whatever one it is on here with no actions and then you're trying to run it um, with nothing to say uh, nothing enabled so it's not going to work obviously so that's about it um, if you guys have any questions you can go ahead and leave it in the comments we'll try to get it answered make sure that you are subscribing to that game um, you know for follow for updates and other than that everything should work properly we'll continue to get things updated as fast as possible have a great rest of your night and hopefully we will see you with us on the next one